Hey friends! I'm Grace Sam and I'm Andrea and we are GNA for today. We are two best friends living a faith-based lifestyle and documenting it. Follow us on social media. We have an Instagram and a Twitter. They are at GNA for today. Also, we both have personal social media. Mine will be flashing on the screen right here, right now. Pop, pop, pop. And Andrea's will be popping on the screen right there. If you have not seen last week's video, definitely go watch it. It will be in the information tab right here. Um, it is a vlog, our very first vlog, and it's just about our weekends, and it's really interesting, so definitely go watch that before you watch this one. This week, we are talking about singleness. We are giving eight pros about singleness and eight cons about being single, so stay tuned. We're going to dive on in. So I did just want to preface this video by saying both of us are single at the current moment, so we feel like this is really relevant to us. And it's an issue that we like to talk about amongst ourselves anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I have not been in a long-term relationship, but I have been in some short-term relationships. And Andrea has. I've been in a long-term relationship. So I feel like I know a lot of the pros and cons of singleness because I've lived both. Yeah. So we're going to be starting with the eight pros to being single. Pro number one is that you don't have to be tied down. If you're at a young age and you're just getting out of college, you can move wherever you want and you don't have to worry about, well, wait, I need to um, make sure this is somewhere my boyfriend is close to. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you don't have to worry about that. And you can go wherever you want. You can travel the world. You can move across the state. You can move across the U.S. Wherever you are, you can move. and. You don't have to worry about having someone yeah. there to tie you down. You've got the freedom to yeah. roam around, do whatever you want. Um, going along with that, pro number two is that you don't have to consult somebody every time you want to make a big life decision. Like if I wanted to just run off and, you know, live in Europe for two weeks, I could just do that. And I don't have to talk to my boyfriend and be like, well, I'm really kind of thinking about this awesome opportunity to go live in yeah. Europe for two weeks, but I don't want to be away from you. Like, you don't have to talk to anybody about that. You can just be like, I'm going to go because this is cool and I want to do it. This also includes like little life decisions like where you go to church. You don't have, you can go to church wherever you want. You don't have to consult your boyfriend like, do you like this church? I really like this church. Mm -hmm. But because when you're in a relationship, you have to do things like that in compromise. But when you're single, you don't. Um, pro number three is that you are living by yourself so you have your own space you don't have to keep the house tidy all the time because you won't have a boyfriend coming over all the time you can decorate the place exactly how you want it and yeah you don't have to worry about if your boyfriend likes the way your furniture is set up or anything like that you can set up your place however you want and you don't have to worry about keeping it clean all the time oh yeah because i definitely know that <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, I don't feel like putting my laundry up today, so it's just going to sit on the end of my bed. And if I had a boyfriend, I like wouldn't want him to see my room like that. So I'd be like, oh, yeah. it has to be clean all the time. But yeah. when you're single, you ain't got to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Pro number four is that it saves you a lot of money. Yes. Because you don't have to pay for dates. You don't have to go out and eat and like go Dutch and pay for yourself. You don't have to go on adventures and like pay for food or Gift. drinks or gifts. Oh, yeah. That costs a lot of money. Yeah, so you don't have to do all that. You can spend all your money on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and pro number five, you don't have to, you know, this is a struggle. If you've been in a relationship, you do not have to struggle um, in balancing your relationship with your boyfriend and your relationship with your friends because that is really hard. We're actually going to make a video about that later on in our YouTube journey, but you don't have to worry about keeping your friends close and your boyfriend close at the same time because that is a big struggle and being mm -hmm. in a relationship uses so much out of you and it's a lot of energy having to um, talk about things and compromise all the time but whenever you don't have to do that you can just focus on your friends. You don't have to like do the do I go out with my friends tonight because yeah. I really want to go like get dinner with them but I also I haven't seen my boyfriend all week, so like, yeah. should I go on a date with him instead? Like, not to worry about that. You can just be like, oh, we're hanging out at five o'clock. Cool, I'll be ready in like ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pro number six is that you get more dating experience. You get to date casually and meet people randomly and be like, hey, do you want to go on a date? I think you're cute, and you get to like experience the dating realm. Whereas when you're in a relationship, you feel kind of like 
well, I hope that you feel monogamous and you want to like be with this one person. And while like that's great in its own way, you get to experience more people. You get to meet more people mm -hmm. and figure out exactly what you like and exactly what you don't like. On to pro number seven of being single is that you get to focus on yourself and your well-being. I know after I got out of a relationship, I really took my health seriously and started eating healthy. And um, that is something that is easier to do whenever you aren't tied down to someone else. Yeah, I think too, like you get to focus on your mental health a lot. You mm -hmm. get to focus on like feeling good on the inside and out. Um, so pro number eight of being single is that you get to grow spiritually by yourself and you um, sometimes when you're in a relationship you feel like you kind of have to compete with their spiritual level and that like maybe they're a little more spiritually mature than you are and you're like okay well, I need to step my game up like I need to be on my devotions I need to be going to church every time the doors are open I have to pray 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 and like you feel like you're trying to reach this spiritual maturity or the opposite you feel like maybe they're a little less spiritually mature than you are or maybe you're about the same and you feel the urge to grow spiritually but you're like I can't because my boyfriend like he's gonna think that's weird or he's gonna think I'm going too fast or I'm getting smarter than him blah blah blah, blah. I just really enjoy the fact that you get to really spend time with God by yourself one-on-one -on -one, father-daughter time and you get to like grow the exact way that he wants you to and the way like in your own time but just so y'all know if you feel spiritually capped because your boyfriend or significant other is not as spiritual as you are then that is not the relationship you should be in no no so your spiritual life with god is between you and god and you should not have whoever you're tied down with fluctuate that it, they shouldn't they should move with you yeah it should be together you should grow spiritually together yes. if it's a good relationship and it's a god intended relationship you will grow spiritually together yes keep that in mind so now we are moving on to the cons of being single and some of them kind of mirror the pros but they are still worth mentioning so con number one of being single is you have to be super cautious of how flirty you seem now this can be a con in several different situations but in this specific one we're going to talk about when you're single because if you're in a group of people and you're like with some friends who are single guys sometimes they can take you flirting in the wrong way so like sometimes you can be joking around with a guy and he's like oh she's flirting with me she must like me but no no just because i'm single does not mean i'm flirting with you yes because whenever you're in a relationship your friends will know that and they'll be like oh she seems flirtatious there but it doesn't mean anything because she's in a relationship well you don't have that safety net when you're single no. and guys can think what they want and it's very frustrating yes con number two is that you have to make decisions by yourself and depending on what kind of person you are this could be a pro or a con but i am very dependent on others and i feel like this is definitely a con for me i don't have my significant other there to ask about what should i do in this situation and it's just Kind of, sometimes it's harder to make decisions whenever you're the only one who is making the decision. Yeah, and I feel like too, when you're making decisions when you're in a relationship, you can kind of pray together about it and be mm -hmm. like, well, how would this strengthen us or how would this weaken us and etc. Whereas when you're single, you're like, well, I think that I'm supposed to do this. Is this right? Like, I don't yeah. know, but okay, I'm just going to do whatever, you know? That's I don't really like that. <laughs> Con number three is that you constantly feel like you have to dress to impress. Mm -hmm. You feel like every time you go out, like, is this going to be the day that I meet the love of my life? Is this the day that I'm going to meet my husband? I should be wearing, like, something nice. I don't want to be wearing, like, Nikes and a t-shirt when I meet my future husband. I want to look nice. And you feel like every time you go out, you have to have makeup on, your hair done, and your nails done, and you have to wear nice clothing. So when that gets really tiring. <laughs> yes. Um, so con number four is that sometimes you feel lonely. We've all felt this. Um, whenever you don't have someone there sending you the good morning texts and telling you that they love you, it can get a little lonely. And just because sometimes we put our worth in what other people say to us more than we should. And so when you don't have those words of affirmation coming from your significant other because you don't have one, then it can get lonely. Yeah, and to piggyback off of that sometimes, when you know maybe you're not growing spiritually as well as you should be or as quickly as you feel like you should be or maybe you're just having a bad day and you're you know feeling 
like less of a person because you're kind of lonely and maybe your mental health's down a little bit, you can be tempted much easier by the devil. Um, there's lots of different temptations that can catch you more specifically when you're single because you don't have to think about the baggage that it brings and that it puts on your relationship because you know maybe you'll feel tempted to like watch porn or to go have sex with a random person that you met in a bar or whatever because it's there and it's easy and you won't have repercussions in the moment but we know obviously that you'll have repercussions in the end and that it's just baggage so that's definitely a con for some people not us specifically but temptation is always there and is always a negative thing moving on to con number five is that sometimes dating is not what it seems <laughs> dating is not always exciting a lot of times it is very awkward <laughs> there's a lot of times in the early stages of dating and especially casual dating where you get to know some people a little too much or you feel awkward when you don't know enough about the person and you're like i don't really know how you feel about this let's talk about it and it just gets very awkward and weird and not fun and you also just have that weird stage of i don't know if he likes me and uh, yeah. what is he thinking like whenever you're in a relationship with that person they'll tell you but yeah. when you're just in the dating you have the awkwardness of not knowing yeah so. and like should i tell him how i feel yeah is he ever gonna oh, tell oh, oh that's the worst <laughs> should i ruin our friendship like we're yeah. friends should i tell him oh man that was the worst <laughs> yeah so moving on to number six is this is a big con for me i know for you too but it is the uncertainty of your future <gasps> the uncertainty <laughs> this is what keeps you awake at night yes Whenever you're in a relationship, it's easy to picture yourself with that person for the rest of your life. I'm gonna marry this person on May 14th in 2024. And, yeah. but whenever you're single, you don't really know who you're gonna end up with and that can keep you up at night. That can consume a lot of your prayers, um, which it should. It should, it should consume a lot of your prayers, but. I think it's also like a lot of the time you're like, Oh, I've been single for X amount of time. Does that mean I'm gonna be single forever? Like, yeah. or I've been on X amount of terrible dates. Does that mean I'm gonna be single forever? Is this a sign? Like, is God telling me that I need to be single? Like, then it can get really nerve wracking, and you're mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, what just the doing? unknown. Yeah, it's awful. So scary. <laughs> um, con number seven. I wanted to do two fingers. <laughs> con number seven is that sometimes, <laughs> even though you're saving money. You spend that money on yourself, which is not always a bad thing, can be a pro, but a lot of times when we spend money on ourselves, we spend money on useless stuff that we don't need, stuff that we want. <laughs> Me, <laughs> the dollar section at Target is oh, no. terrible. <laughs> I feel like I've spent easily like $300 there in my life. <laughs> So that just like I'm that bad. <laughs> I'm just like the dollar section, because I'm like, oh, it's a dollar, I'll get like five. And I'm like, so yeah, you can spend a lot of money on yourself and on useless things that you don't need. And you're like, well, you know, I want it. So I'm gonna get it, because I have extra money. No, bad habits, friends. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> Con number eight is that negative connotation that comes with singleness. Ugh. Everyone is like, especially whenever you're in your young 20s in college, people are always asking you, so are you dating anybody? And when you say no, they're like, why? why? And they think like, what's wrong with her? Why is she single? Nothing is wrong with you if you are single. Yeah, it drives me crazy. I hate when people are like, why are you single? You're so pretty. I'm like, I don't know. Like, stop asking me What's that wrong with being single right now? Yeah. It's just a state of life. You don't have to be with someone every minute of your life. Like, yeah. you need this time of singleness. Yeah, I hate that question so much. Pet peeve. Yeah. Do not ask me why I'm single. It's not your business. <laughs> and honestly, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is all we have on pros and cons of being single. Let us know in the comments below if you disagree or agree with any of our pros and cons. And if you have any more, let us know because we struggled to come up with this many. Um, so let us know in the comments, please. We would love to talk to you about this. So make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're cool. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you liked this video, um, like it. Give it a thumbs up? Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you liked this video, like it. 
because we love it when you like our videos. But it makes us so happy. Yeah, because we love you and you should like our videos. Make sure you hit that bell. It'll give you a notification every single time we post so you'll never miss out on when we post videos. Make sure that you join us next week as we talk about da, 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 what to do if your friends don't like your boyfriend. Scandal! We have a lot to say on that. <laughs> We're so excited. We have experience. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that and that you hit the bell. See you next week. Bye, Bye friends! <laughs> um, da, 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 ha, ha. That was cute! <laughs> I feel like I need more water again though. We are humans. We need it. So you'll never miss every, what, what, I'll never miss an upload. <laughs>